and welcome to Autopilot at Work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sum column values using UiPath. One of the common tasks you may want to automate is calculating the sum of a column or columns in Excel or data table. There are many ways to do it, but I'm going to show you one of the easier ways to do it in UiPath Studio. So let's jump right into it. Before we go ahead and build the workflow in UiPath Studio, I want to show you the Excel data we are using today. In this Excel sheet, we have four columns, customers, invoices, payment date, and amount paid. The workflow we are going to build should calculate all the values under amount paid columns and gives us the total of all the amount paid by the customers. And you, you can see I have intentionally left two cells empty. This is because in the workflow, we will have function that handle the null values without producing any errors. Let's go to your path studio and start creating the workflow. The first activity we need is the Excel application scope, where we get the Excel file into UI path studio. Next activity is read range activity where we read the data from the excel sheet into a data table so we output the data into a data table and we will create a variable for the data table here i'll create dt table as the variable and then make sure the variable type is data table the next activity is and assign activity where we calculate the values under the amount pay columns and then assign it to a variable. So I'll create a new variable called sum of amount. And then for the variable type, I'll set it to double because there are a few floating values in the column and I'll make sure I output the floating values in the total. Um, the next step is to create the method to calculate the values. So we need the data table and then we need a method or as innumerable to return the i innumerable objects so that we can use the data rows we can look through the data rows using this method and then the next method we need is the sum method and within the method we will have a functions to check whether the data the values in the data row is a number if it's a number then we will use the value if it's not then we will return zero so we will have a function to do that and we'll have a if statement so if is numeric so the data row of column amount pay if it is true then we re we return the value but we'll convert it to variable type double if it is false then we return zero make 
make sure there's no error and save. So the next step is just output this value in the message box. So then we can check. So I'll put this in a message box and then we can cross check with the total calculated by Excel. Let's open the Excel sheet. So we get the total 558.85. Let's see if we sum up the total here in Excel, we get the same number, 558.85. So the workflow is working correctly. And that's how you can sum up all the values within a column in your path. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can populate that total in the last row of the column. So see you in the next video. Ciao. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching today. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more automation tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. For any questions or feedback, leave a comment below or reach out through our social media channels until next time, keep automating and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.